Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna cover up top five Google Chrome extensions or five must have extensions for Google Chrome. Now, they may not be the exact extensions that you may be needing, but they are five must have for me at least. But still, even if you don't like some of them, maybe some of them will come really, really handy. So, let's get started. Alright, the first one I'm gonna download and add to my Chrome is Pocket. And what Pocket does is it that it allows us to save the articles so that we can uh, read them later on. And notice that uh, whenever we search we get apps on the top and extensions later so make sure you go to the extension or click extensions from here. So let's read what it says here. Pocket extension for Google Chrome, the best way to save articles, videos and more. Uh, that's uh, sort of what we want to do add to chrome add alright it's added alright I'm gonna leave it right here and uh, leave it up to you to sign up for your pocket account and uh, then keep using it you really like it if uh, you haven't used anything like this before it's really really handy uh, whenever we get to uh, some of the tasks and we get to read an article and we forget to read it in the future or we cannot find it so pocket will help us save it alright my second up is Evernote. It's an extension similar to Pocket but really more powerful than Pocket. Evernote is available everywhere. I mean Android apps, iPhone, uh, Google Chrome, other web browsers or for desktop application even. So let's get the Evernote and see what it can does for us. So Evernote, here it is. Evernote Web Clipper. Use the Evernote extension to save things you see on the web into your Evernote account. It even lets you search through your notes. So basically it's very similar to Pocket and uh, you may choose one of them to keep on your Google Chrome extensions library. But I still wanted to cover both of them. They're both really really great. And I'm gonna add it to Chrome and uh, I use it all the time on my camera. Let's say I find a good article, I find something on Facebook, from something on Twitter or my favorite blog. I'm gonna add it to Evernote and you and the great thing is that I can access it from my Android device, I can access it from my desktop because the application of Evernote is present on my desktop and everything is in synchronized. So it's a great great extension, little heavy and uh, little complex but really it's a great extension, save everything and uh, you'll never miss out on anything. Alright, it's right here and uh, it's again uh, some thank you message, welcome page or guide or install, something like that. So uh, it's a really handy page, I mean it's giving us capture web clip, explore related notes, use related rules, customize web clipper and all that. Let's try to sign in and uh, create an Evernote account. Uh, I'm not gonna sign in with my account but still I'm gonna leave it to you and uh, it's a great app worth checking really worth checking and uh, now the next three apps are like that I use them all the time all the day all the night every time I use Chrome and uh, they're running on every web page or I'm using them all the time so next three are my really really favorite extensions and uh, the third one is Google multi count checker. Now, Google Mail has a lot of uh, extensions like mail, mail from the extension, or just checking the mail, or sending the mail, uh, mul uh, different extensions. But the favorite I use is Google multi count checker. So, what it does is that it allows us to see all our Google accounts. Let's say you have 10 Google accounts. And it allows us to see all the emails from all the accounts from right here just in one click and we can read the emails and we can just resend, reply, delete, mark as read all the things right here right? just one click and here it is Google Mail multi account checker and uh, I'm gonna add to Chrome really really time saver if you use a uh, lots of Google accounts alright Alright, uh, some message that because it didn't behave quite well uh, in the initial phase, but now it's great. I use it, and here it is. I mean, one account is right there. Sign in to add another account. So if you sign in over here, and uh, then uh, you need to sign in with the same account you're logged into Chrome, 
and uh, then you can add as many accounts as you want and you will get all your accounts right here and you can mark as read delete read emails and you get notifications right just like that let's zoom in. yeah just like that let's say you have 10 email accounts and you got 12 emails randomly scattered around different email accounts and uh, uh, you get 12 right here yeah, along with the uh, mail symbol and you know how many emails you have you need not go to so many gmail accounts so it's a real real time saver all right so the fourth extension is a really important and uh, really a great and headache free is ad block now there are multiple ad blocks available here and uh, but we want the simple ad block right here chromeblock.com and just add it to chrome click on add and alright it's right there we can see it's already visible here it's gonna install right here and uh, that's it it's done and let's say some website that uses uh, YouTube uses a lot of ads and even the ads inside the video now the ad block extension is gonna grow erase all those ads away from YouTube you see that uh, here is a big banner ad of YouTube it's not gonna appear here Chrome I think this space should not appear here but uh, anyways but uh, you know sometimes video ads are really annoying and lots of ads on let's say a software website a software website has ads that show different different download buttons now we we are confused which download button is real and we end up on some other site or malware site and uh, we cannot figure out what real download button was so using ad block all those stupid ads will be ripped off of that website and we'll be able to use the real download button so it's a really really great extension and not only this let's say you trust a website really uh, you want to help them uh, create some money using ads and you don't wanna uh, uh, make them uh, lose their money and you are still enjoying their content so let's say YouTube uh, we want the ad to be running here we don't have any problem with that so we click it don't run on this page so you can add your favorite sites and help them keep using their ads by don't running on that website uh, here it is the ad uh, otherwise there are no ads on the internet anywhere now so it's a great great extension I love it so that's why I'm using it everywhere it's running everywhere alright now we come to the final extension and I use that one all the time I love it really really love it and that one is Google Dictionary alright and uh, here it is uh, always we get the apps over and let's click on it and see what uh, this is what it does whenever you uh, double click any word or highlight a word using your mouse or keyboard it pops up this dialog sort of very very light uh, pop up and uh, it tells you the definition not only this we can click on more to get more definitions of internet we can close it and we can even hear the pronunciation of the specific word so that's great and not only this uh, let's just add it and see what it does alright click on add whoa here it is and uh, when we click on it whoa it's so fast uh, just click on it and type something like Google and it got us a lot of definition a lot of stuff and uh, really really great right here super fast speed and let's test the other version of it that is highlighting a word something else let's go to Wikipedia and uh, We are browsing the internet and we are learning a lot with the help of this extension. Uh, let's say we double click series, 
we got a number of things, events, or people of a similar kind or related nature coming one after another. Now we can hear the pronunciation. Series. Series. How cool is that? All right. There are my five best extensions for Google Chrome. I use them all the time. I have all of them. I have even more extension where I wanted to cover up the five best extensions for Google Chrome. I hope you like the video. If you want to ask anything, please comment and please like the video. Please share it. Thank you.